I'm Zach, a reporter for CNBC Make It covering side hustles. I've seen ordinary people like you and me turn side projects into million dollar businesses. From a guy who made a fortune buying things at Walmart and selling them on Amazon, to a woman selling clothes out of her closet, to a guy flipping guitars, and a guy making Donald Trump poop bags. They made it look easy, which got my boss thinking, Hey Zach, why don't you do it? And so I am. The challenge is simple. Start a side hustle with less than $1,000. Minimize the time I spend on it and maximize the amount of money it brings in. All profits go to charity. Now, all I need is an idea. The fall about Bitcoin. Blockchain. Blockchain. Cryptocurrency. Bitcoin. 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 For the big, big holders of Bitcoin. Why the heck are the kids so into it? And that's when it hit me. I could sell crypto apparel and build my own website selling crypto-themed t-shirts, hats, and socks. The only problem is, I know nothing about starting anything. So I set up a meeting with Dom, an entrepreneur on CNBC's new show, Staten Island Hustle. It's a doggy dog world out there. If you're not hustling, you ain't making money. Thanks, Thanks for meeting with me, man. I, I need some help. What do you got? I'm starting a side hustle. Okay. You guys have these meetings of the minds all the time. You go through a lot of ideas. I bought these suits, and I think they're dope. But how many did you buy? I didn't do a count, but there's a lot. Did you pay him already for these suits? Yeah, I did. But how do you know when you've settled on a good idea? Well, here's the thing what people need to understand, and what you need to understand if you want to do any hustle, start any business. You have to surround yourself with good people. You don't necessarily have to be the smartest guy in the room, mm -hmm. but you got to align yourself with them. Lucky for me, I knew just the guy in Trevor Chapman. He turned $200 into a company he sold for over $10 million in a matter of months by selling it random is. things from China online. That's the power of e-commerce. First off, I want to thank you for letting me check off my <laughs> one to-do. Now that we have you in the house, I can get your opinion on what I'm doing. So thank 100%. you. 100%. Crypto apparel. Okay. What do we think about crypto apparel? Love it. And here's the, here's the important part. They identify themselves with crypto. So when you give someone the opportunity to reinforce their identity, now you've got a customer. So he likes the idea, but he warns me not to overthink it. It all comes down to creating a design that people that love crypto will, will wear. That's it. That is absolutely it. And there's it, nothing beyond that. So with Trevor on board, I was ready to get started. But not before I got one last warning from Dom. What is it that I, that I should know that are mistakes that commonly pop up when people Here's are Here's the mistake side. that I see commonly made. Uh -huh. A side hustle, you could call it that but don't treat it as that, okay? And the only way that that hustle is gonna work is if you believe it's real and you make it real. So before you spend a dime on your side hustle, remember these three things. Find an expert that can help guide you, offer a product people are passionate about, and treat your side hustle like it's a million dollar business. Hey, thanks, thanks Dom. My Appreciate pleasure. It. My Thanks pleasure. for all the help. Good luck I'm to you. I'm gonna make you proud. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>